Lights, camera, action. In a studio where local filmmakers talk to other filmmakers about the inside world of film. Cut. That's not the script. F*** it. We'll fix it in post. Do you wonder how films are produced and what really goes on behind the scenes? Well, stand by. Filmmakers Kevin Mumphrey, Victoria V.A. Jones, and Carson Hype Ferguson explain all the details. Right here on F*** It, we will fix it in post podcast. One. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whenever you're listening, I thank you for doing so. I'm Kevin Mumphrey. Once again, it's F*** It. We'll fix it in post. I'm here with my colleague, Victoria V.A. Jones. What's going on? And Carson Knight Ferguson. There we go. I like that one better. That, that's that's better. I like that. Keep that keep that same energy right there. He is never going to do that again. So by the time you watch this, either summer will be officially over or we will be close to the point to where it, it has ended. So we're going to do kind of talk about some of the films of 2024 during the summer. Because that's obviously a kind of our peak movie time of the year. I like the winter movies better. Well, uh, hopefully they do better because uh, like 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 the Revenant or Jingle All the Way or Gremlins. I'll take Gremlins. I die hard. Jingle All the Way. I like well. What I meant is, well, the time that people are more, you're going to get more people to go to the movies is the summer because the kids are out of school and all of that. Yeah. So that's obviously kind of a peak movie season. Now this year, Hollywood has made about three point three billion. And that's as of August 19th. Now, that sounds great, but last year they made like $4 billion, and the year before that was like $4.7 billion. No, no, $4.7 billion was in 2013. There must so, not be no good movies out there. So, it, it we, we've had some good ones. Like, uh, so me, personally, I would say um, one of the favorites that I probably watched this summer is Bad Boys 4. Yeah. That, that did pretty well. That did a billion worldwide by itself you've also the now i haven't seen it but it's obviously somewhat popular inside out inside out yeah so you know what i'm talking about yeah the, that, the kids movie yes i actually think uh that was the, the incredibles that was the number one incredibles no 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 inside out two in four thousand four hundred and four no not incredibles <laughs> what's the i think it just came out it just came out now, David. We ain't got no. But now, no, I got. What's that movie called? Despicable Me. Despicable, Despicable Me Four. Yes. That was third place. Four thousand four hundred forty-nine theaters. It made three hundred forty-eight million. How much? Uh, how much? Deadpool. That's second place. Wolverine. Five hundred and fifty. Five hundred seventy-seven. And it probably would have made more if it wasn't rated R. But they wanted uh, to make it rated R. It is. It technically is the highest grossing rated R film of all time. Hmm. So even with it being rated R, it was. And it's only going to gain steam too, because it, it's only been out for what a week. Uh, maybe that, may, no, no, it's may, been out for a few well, maybe two, maybe, maybe two. two weeks. Because because I saw it like two weeks ago. I think I saw it uh, open the weekend. No, no, it really yeah, July twenty sixth. It's been out. Okay, all right. Now it's, it's the top two movies is Deadpool, Wolverine, and Inside Out Two. Third place was the Despicable Me. Bad Boys I thought would have been higher, but Marvel's going to kill every time. So Bad Boys not every cool. time, not every time. Well, they, they're, they're struggling. Their franchises are struggling. Like uh, they they had to get back to like the original formula for wh- why people cared about it. And I think it's going to do well this year because there's not as much projects. We're not being flooded with it. Well, I mean, lo- low key, they did a um, a lot of cleaning house that a lot of people didn't talk about. I, they cleaned I don't, house. I don't know from, if it was low key. No, I mean they they clean house from a lot of people, whatever, like behind the scenes people. Oh, you talking about behind the scenes? Yeah, yeah, like I, yeah, like, I uh, thought you were talking about uh, Coretta Scott King. Look, you gonna you gonna leave leave brother uh, leave that brother alone. <laughs> He's getting back to himself. Yo, look, look, yo, like he's no, seriously, seriously. We gotta address this. We gotta address this. No, we do. He wanted a white lady to be Coretta Scott King, not a black lady. She he ain't gotta tell her. She already know. She already he know. Wanted, he wanted her to have quality of Coretta Scott King. Why you laughing, man? Just tell I the just, just tell I, the story. I, I, stop stop laughing, man. Just stop laughing. Air, I mean, air, <laughs> why are you trying to make this? Better. Why are you trying to? Why are you trying to make it just, better than what it sounds like? 
<laughs> literally. I know it sounds horrible. I know. Because it is horrible. <laughs> it's just, it's just I just, I just think horrible. you worded it. I just think you worded it badly. You're horrible. I mean, I'm horrible. I, how would you word it, Kevin? I'm trying to. He wanted someone with the qualities of a Freda Scott King. Okay. Now, I mean. It doesn't sound. Even like you, you can't even get it out. You can't get it out. You can't get it out. It's a strange framing of word, I'll admit. Um, you could, you could have used any other phrase to describe any, however you wanted somebody to be. I really personally Regal, have said I dignified. Uh, 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 dim your, yeah, dim, oh yeah, you're gonna use. It. Why not? I, I'm like, I'm like, man. Here's the thing. I said, for people that didn't read the dictionary and they start using these big words that they probably never use in their life, I'd be like looking at people funny. I'd be like, I'd be like, someone's already named hmm. the baby that. But with uh, with John, I, I mean, saying I wanted my own Coretta, that that was a bad choice of words for him. I'll I'll admit. Thank you, was, thank you. I'm I just, I'm glad you admitted that. that. Was a, it was it was. Now, if he had said that years earlier before you saw the girlfriend he was with, he'd be like, oh, he wants a Coretta. And he'd be like. Oh, I thought you wanted Coretta. I think it would have been worse if he did it before and did show up with the lady. Yeah, it's like, it's like, he's like, he's like, yeah, I want Coretta. You're like, that ain't Coretta. She may have her qualities that Coretta has. No, 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 no. She, she definitely don't. She put no, a case on that no. man. She put a case on that man. And, and she chased him like two blocks in heels. That man, that man ran you, away. He, like, who makes that, you think Coretta no, can't run? No, I, look, I'm saying, would Coretta have to run? Coretta was in the house. Freedom. Okay. Coretta was in the house. This chick ran for freedom. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, maybe in a way. I don't know. No. No. She ran. She ran for money. That's what she ran for. She chased this man. She, 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 financial freedom is still. Freedom. No. No. She, she, she saw her meal ticket running away from her. That is so not what we're talking about today. Hey, like the Far Side uh, used to sing about, you can't keep running away. But uh, so, what was your favorite? Film, film of the summer. I don't get quiet now. <laughs> Any I'm gonna say Bad Boys, okay? I'm gonna say Bad Boys. Because you're not really much of a Marvel person. I am, but I'm not. Elaborate. And, and and then she gonna tell us about Coretta. Come on, <laughs> like you, you gonna say that to me? I mean, I love Marvel films, but I'm not unless they, you know, unless it's like a female lead. I'm not, you know. I'm going to look at it, but I'm going to be like, oh, okay. Where are all those female right. superheroes at? Where are they? You know? Nobody knows how to write a, a, a good female uh, lead anymore. They used to. You know. So, so what, 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 give me an example of what you would consider a good female lead film. Ripley in Alien 1. Or, or Old Girl in uh, The First Terminator. To even the second ter Terminator, they played Sarah okay. Connor. Okay, I, I would go with. That. I mean, the, yo, it's it's super complex. So she's feminine, but she has to like you know she's not leaning into her masculinity. Like no, she's trying to live. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, yo, what's up with people, man? This is weird, man. I'm not trying to be tough. I'm trying not to die. Yeah, but she's still a, she's still a female. She's dealing with struggles like both of them did. And hey, they're trying to live. Hey. Charmed. That's all about that show. Shout out to Shannon Doherty. You know, she just passed away. She's a she was born in Memphis. Born in Memphis. I, I did not know that. Shout she, out to she, Shannon Doherty. And you want to know what? The reason why they moved because she wanted to, she wanted to be in television. So they moved out of Memphis so their daughter could do that. And now the next Shan Shannon Doherty won't have to go to Atlanta. Well, I mean, if there is gonna be a next Shorn Shannon Doherty. Cause like you know back then like the the stars actually made the film. Now the film is like bigger than the star. Cause yeah. like uh, I mean like they've been writing about this for a while, or whatever. There is no like quote unquote movie star. You got yeah, yeah, what are you, you, talking about you got streamers that like got you know more celebrity status than like Hollywood people. Oh yeah. So I'm looking at these films and. Realizing marketing is important because I hadn't heard about a lot of these. Um, Indian 2. Dwayne, oh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. The Lion King re-release. They re-released Lion King? The original one? or the 24 re-release that made 2 million. The original one? The cartoon one? 
Uh, I don't know if it's car. Has, see, I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell you. Lord of the Rings, the Two Towers, a two twenty twenty four re release. Oh, it's probably like director's release or something like that. Yeah, that was two Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring twenty twenty four re release. Now you know, like, um, do y'all remember the film The Crow? Yeah. So that just got released. As I don't like the a new one. Yes, and they've been working on this one, I believe, for a while. Because I've been hearing talks about it for Didn't years. Didn't it like stop production for a minute, and then yeah. they started back production, production for a few? I think a couple of reasons. I think they've been trying to remake this film for. That should tell you something. Mm, I mean, that's, a lot of films do that. Then no, that it, should tell you something. But I, a lot of troubled films do that. That should. Like, I mean, I'm like Slade, like what they've gotten. And now, now people are saying, why don't they just use... use so now they got Marshall catching so much hell for something that got nothing to do with him. Yeah, but it's not his fault. It's, it's like, uh, allegedly, allegedly, you're going to have a Blade film that's going to have, like, more dialogue than fight scenes. It's going to be, major- yeah. like, like, 90, like the, 90% dialogue versus, like, action. Like that is that, that, the, that doesn't go with that character. Kind of like the, um, the Batman, the, the last Batman. There was a lot of exposition. There was, there, there was a lot of exposition in that film, but like he, he, he his on screen Batman persona was a lot less because he was like more detective. Yeah, they were trying to make it more of a detective. I, I, I like I like part of that, but the emo Batman didn't work for me. I, with, with that, I like the scenery, the look of it. Yeah, it was like it was like grimy kind of uh yeah the, like even the like, music choice yeah that like that that was good but the the, the over emo batman i, I was like mm, it's I'm like not, this is this is i'm not really a fan of that and it, the, the film had a lot of issues robert patterson apparently was like you know on that sauce allegedly <laughs> we could help for fight scenes I mean, depending on what sauce you get. I mean, if, if you're doing I drunken monkey, monkey style, yeah, allegedly. I mean, there are some scenes where he's really laying the hammer down. So, hey, you. That's all about the camera work, too. I'm just telling you, a good a good cinematographer can get that rolling. They make you look real good. Bingo. Just remember it, everyone. A great cinematographer and some editors. And, and look. Can and make it, you look amazing. And on, that, on that film, I, I thought it was a good film overall. But there are some things where I'm just like, come on, really? It took me out of the story. Like, you get these dudes that just happen to be some dudes off the couch, and they're giving Batman a run for his money like that. They're not like, you know, paid thugs. They're just some dudes who, like, collaborate each other through the Internet. I'm like, nah, man. T- tell me I ain't going to get Batman like that. Bike riders, fly me to the moon. Literally, marketing is important. Fly me people. to the moon. It's like a, like, what is it? Not Frank Sinatra, but um, uh, it might be Frank Sinatra, like a song. It did, did 20 million. Didn't the Amy Winehouse movie come out this year? This summer? What was the name of the film? Now, Amy Winehouse? No. No, uh, no hold on. Was no, it a was theater the or movie? was it a... It's, it's a I, I don't know. Maybe it's about to come out. No, I, it, I it already came out. It, I, I, I don't know. It, but I don't know. I don't know if it came out in theaters, though. I don't know if it went to a streaming service or did it come out. Like, that feels like a streaming service movie. Hmm. Speaking of um, speaking of movie, Jonathan Majors was supposed to come out with that oh, one. Uh, no, he's supposed to come out with that one movie where he's the bodybuilder and he actually bulked up, but then all the stuff happened true. and like they uh they like they they were gonna release it I think this year. It was like oh, gen- he already filmed it. It was like Generation oh, Magazine. Something. It was it was doing the rounds at uh like Sundance and like several film festivals to all kinds of acclaim, but since the stuff had happened, they didn't want to like crush the. Hmm. So that that might be like lost for a couple years now, but he's already done it though. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be really, really good from what I hear. He, he was he, playing a bodybuilder. Yeah, he plays a bodybuilder and he put on like thirty pounds for like bodybuilding competition. Yeah, or yeah. Body- yeah. I thought they shoved it. Now let me ask you this: Which um, production studio you think did the best this summer? I don't know. I have no clue. Disney, of course. That makes what, sense. What do you mean? Of course, of course. What they're bleeding the money on one side. Did they? Did they make up for the the fact that they're bleeding money from over here? Disney Plus ain't profitable. Now, now, now is this... just have their what was it twentieth or fiftieth something? I saw something about Miley, Miley Cyrus getting uh the little handprints. Uh, it's supposed to be called Disney Legends. 
Yes. Yeah, she got she got she's considered the youngest Disney legend. Angela Bassett, I believe, got it as yeah, well. Yeah, she got it. Um there were some other people I don't remember. I remember Molly because she's considered the youngest ever Disney legend. To be honest, I've never heard of this until this year. Me neither. So I don't know the parameters on becoming a Disney legend, but I don't know, man. Like I don't know. But like there's too many too many child stars got too many uh issues for me to be like, what is this? I mean, she's kind of on our, um, I don't know, Molly seems fine now. Uh, she but, yeah, now. But she seems fine about, now. Oh. But she was wilding. Oh, you remember that? Oh, my goodness. What was that phase? With the, uh, that song she made with uh, Juicy J. She was sitting on the, uh, on the, in the basketball uh, rim. It wasn't, it wasn't wrecking ball. Is that the um, one? Yeah. In my J's, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, she had J's on or whatever. And she's sitting like in the goal, sitting in the goal, and I'm just like, man, why? Yeah, she she good now. She good now. Are you, you sure she's good now? I, you say yeah, that. You I must, think she is. You must talk to her. I think no, that's not not my business. I'm just saying I ain't heard nothing crazy from her, so I think she's good. You're saying uh, like about Disney. Now, Disney got a lot of stuff that's probably got a lot of issues because obviously with sports, because they're getting into that more because they're part of the um, NBA. That, they're part of that package. And that package as a whole is $76 billion. Disney's going to be paying a good chunk of it. So they, they're not good on that side. Like, I, don't, I don't think their movie, their, their movie, department is going to make so much money where it fix all of that. Yeah. But I mean, the parks division, like it, it may have made a profit this year, but is that enough to offset the cost everywhere else? No, Dis- no. Disney plus ain't profitable yet. I don't, I don't know if that's ever, like they're going I have to do something with that, but I don't know if that's cause I think at, I think right now, as far as in the prevalent of streaming, that may be third or fourth place. I mean, obviously Netflix is number one. Um, yeah. But what is that? What is that saying though? Because Hulu is a partnership between, like, what, Disney and NBC or something like if, that? If if Hulu is still winning over Disney+, Plus, you still got to still gotta win because I got two of mine. Yeah, but that's, not, that's not enough, though. You're still splitting profits with this other company that you partner with. But I'm saying, like, you're not even taking 100% of that. And, and, like, I think they made a mistake when they pulled all their content to, to put it all on Disney+. Plus. Be like, because the licensing money. You talking about when they started pulling everything from Netflix yeah. and putting it on? I, I think that was a mistake I, at the time because it's like you don't have it built up enough where you can do that to where you're going to be able to just like smooth sailing. Because there's not enough franchises on Disney Plus that are going to carry the the streaming service. I understand the thinking of of doing it. I do yeah, too because it's like okay, we we've got we our brand name is big enough to get people to come over here for one. Two, if I take it, if I cut it off from here, I could but reasonably you, assume they, people. They assumed people were going to come yeah. over. That's I the think thing. that's a, I mean, they were wrong, but I think that was a reasonable assumption. They, like, I can't say I, if I was them, I would have made that mistake. Yeah, but here's the thing, though. Okay, how much how much brand equity has, um, like, Netflix built up over the years? Quite a bit, right? Yeah, but it, I mean, I wouldn't say their brand equity is on par with Disney. Uh, I would say it, as far as the people paying you, it is because somebody has to come out of their wallet to pay you. They have to find it worth that. And Disney, if you've seen the stuff, unless you just like are adamant about like watching something over and over again, or you got kids, it ain't really going to happen. Hell, like I was, I used to be uh, like on Hulu back in the day when they had cops on, but then when they pulled cops off, I was like, Hey, I'm out of this. Cause that was the main source of re- reason why I was now, there. Where did they they move like they moved to like the they 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 pulled cops off and sold the rights to somebody else and like since then the rights have been sold off three or four different times. It might have been Paramount. Uh, it could be. I like, think it's well, be- because like they just I guess they like they sold to somebody else and I think Fox bought it, and then Fox now has like. Like uh something live or something like that because yeah. they they did something weird or whatever where there's like two almost copycats and I guess they sold off a certain amount of rights to one company and and they split the rights or something like that or because there was live PD and there was another one yeah something else but, but that's it, also on they have a show like that on A and E too 
I forgot I forgot the name of it, but yeah. yeah I, used to watch, I used to watch uh Lock Up too. And I remember the episode where uh, OJ Simpson got booked in. Okay, so I'm looking at where it is. It's streaming on Pluto TV. Fox Nation. Fox Nation. That's where I've seen it at. So, and I mean, obviously you can get it on YouTube. But, and it's. I mean, like old episodes. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But I'm saying like, they, they were like running live episodes, but then, you know, like two years ago, they decided, oh, this is, even though this is a profitable show, we're not going to like, we don't want anything near this anymore. I mean, there's all there's so many versions of that kind of show now. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, Co- Cops, so was, Cops different... was the longest standing one, though. And yeah. You knew what you're gonna get, and yeah. m- most people that watched it watched it like with their whole family. Yeah, so much that that was it's that was prime time. So much competition. And yeah, but 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 to my point, this is the brand equity that one brand leads up. I mean, you you have you have all this other stuff, but it still don't rival that of Coke. You know, so, you got you got McDonald's and you got Burger King. So as far as brand equity, I feel like it would have brand equity for someone our age or even older. Yeah, so so anybody so anybody younger. anybody under that don't care. They don't care about the the Disney. You'd be like, oh, that's Disney. Okay. They don't think about that. Oh, they, no, don't, I was, I was they, care, they don't care about saying. going to the theme park. But but I'm saying like brand equity though yeah. in in the show cops, because so many generations watched it. And they will watch it together. It probably would have more to a lot more different generations. I remember watching it, and every every member in my household was in every single room watching the same episode, <laughs> not not knowing. And then it's like, say so you you know you hear that weird like I mean, echo. like your mama in, in one room yeah. watching the same. Yeah, you, know, you like hear the echo. You be like, man, it's kind of weird. Little sound delay. I get you what you're like saying. you like, and then like everybody's yelling at the TV. Yeah, yeah, and then then we decided, oh, if we're all watching this at the same time anyway, let's go in the family room and watch this. Now, but the time with family, like families watching shows in the family room is together, and that is long again. I, I don't think so necessarily, because I've, I've had I've had like um, where I would like entertain like friends over at the crib, and we all be watching the same stuff, or whatever, and I would call it family game night, and then we like watch something, be drinking, playing like Uno. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Grand is one thing, like Monopoly or something like that. But but there's families that do this still with certain shows. Like, I mean, I know I know a family that was watching um, the one with Kevin Costner. Um, I know you're talking about. Uh, you know, stuff. Yeah. They, they're watching that together as a family. So it, it still happens. It's just a lot less because like everybody's got like way more different tastes. But it takes the right media to do that. I don't know if Disney is the right media for that. Like I mean, some of the like Despicable Me one. One and two, I haven't seen three or four. But Despicable Me one and two, that's good. It's it 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 hits all the markers. And I can say that is somebody like you know looking at it objectively. And I only watched it because I was like over a friend's house with his family, and it's like oh we're gonna watch this, and I'm like kind of roll my eyes. But it was like it was good. I didn't know Pharrell Williams did the soundtrack until like I heard something. I was like, is that for real? Yeah. And I was and like, oh, you good, know good on it. him. Good on him, man. He getting that money. And you know he's doing a film on his life. Okay. A biopic? Yep. And it's going to be all in Legos. <sighs> it is a, like, now this part, I think Legos have been doing a lot because Lego has a brand deal with, the, I believe, the NBA as well. So I think Legos has been doing, has been doing a lot of stuff, actually. But yes, he's going to I do mean, it's interesting. That's something new. It's, it's new. It's innovative. And I think if it's going to work with anyone, It'll work with Pharrell. It makes sense for someone like Pharrell to do that. I, I would want to see um, CeeLo Green first. I don't think he would do Legos, though. I think he would I think he would do something else. He did Niles Barkley. He would do Legos. I, I think he would do something else. Now, it, his might be animated. Uh, like a, I think you could talk him animated. into it, but for the first time. Kind of like, like baby kids. I can see him doing something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see him doing that. No, I mean, for for something of this nature and how new it is, Pharrell feels like the per- perfect person to do something like this. It like is weird, but I mean, it out. I mean, Pharrell's sound is somewhat weird, but it works. It's really not weird, not at this point in time. Well, I, I'm oh, I'm not talking about now. I mean, we're we've all been adjusted. To, I mean, like when he first came out, Star started, Trek. All the, he gave us the clips. 
Grinding. Yay. Uh, I mean, I mean, like, and then grinding. before before the clips, there was the Phillies most wanted. If anybody remembers that, that I, there were the clips before the clip. He brought back the beating on the uh, the, the school lunch the table. School lunch I was, I was like, table. Oh, yo, yo, that that was that bang. That was that was for real, right there. He brought. He is the only one that brought that back. Well, there, there's some other people that did it as well, but but I mean, like that was that was legit. It it was it was more memorable. Like you yeah. tend to think about it when you see that play. Well, I mean, like you you had old boy to get get that uh, that record deal, the Acapulco Don or whatever, the dude from Florida that was like banging on the. Uh, this is like maybe ten years ago. He was banging on the porch, uh, telling stories or whatever, and like rhyming. That sound like uh, finesse two times in jail. Hey, but, Bang, but banging on the thing while he was doing rhymes in, hey, in jail cell. But, but you know what though? You know what though? That was the realest because it's like it's so raw and everybody related to it because it's like yo, the lyrics was good, the beat that he was doing was good. He was doing the pencil and the and the and the deal, so it had so many elements. Oh yeah, and then he he got a deal. So okay, and then I I don't know. Yeah, I guess he had a couple shows and stuff like that. And did. Is it one of the losers of the? So, this year's summer summer movie season was original movies. I'm just reading how um, I got in the story. Try as it may, but modern Hollywood cannot produce original movies. Aside from long legs, every creative swing this summer struck out. If legged out was a respectable 184 million worldwide, but it was far from a hit. Kevin Costner's Horizon crashed and burned with a Future thirty four million. I don't even in, against his one. What is that movie? Million. About? I don't. I've never even heard that movie. What is that movie about? It's it's like a it's like a um. It looked like a like, like a kind of modern western. That like um one hundred million to make. I I didn't I didn't even know he uh he four walled that. I remember seeing like a couple things, but there's so much stuff going on in everybody's life. Just because you make something doesn't mean you know we're gonna see it or even care about it. But you know how many movies are made. Yeah, or, or not in May, but yeah. how many movies come out a year? Yeah, or within a six month time, mm-hmm. it's a lot. It's a lot, and the one thing you have to realize is marketing. The money that the money that you put into marketing is very important, and how you use that money, and how you use the money, and yeah. how you do yeah, market. But also, too, you got to know your audience is going to come and see this potential film. If your audience is busy, you're gonna have to get to them some other way. You're gonna have to like you know, kind of do some like kind of new age, like, you know, different type of marketing with them or something. But, you know, like if you're just doing traditional marketing, you're going to, you're going to have to get through the sea of noise somehow. Cause you, I mean, he's, he's got, he's got Yellowstone that I think he just walked away from. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, you don't tell, tell me that people that watch that film, if you were able to reach them, you wouldn't be able to get them to the, see this film as well. It's about marketing. I, I didn't. I knew nothing about. I remember seeing something about it or whatever, but it was just like you know one thing. But it's like people don't get news the same way they used to at one point in time. So I don't. I don't know why. I don't understand. You know, like because I guarantee you, everybody who loved Yellowstone, they would have wanted to go see that movie. Yes, just out of curiosity alone, I would have thought they would have gone to see. It. I mean, not just that. Like he he's got a built up fan base through the years. Like. He's normally in good films like Highwaymen. That was a great film. Him and Woody Harrelson. You know the the yeah. two the two dudes. I'm who a, went to, I never saw it, went, but I know they went to go get Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah, yeah I seen that. And then, and then at the end or whatever, I have forgot because I remember reading about that that people were like they 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 had became like folk heroes, so they had to parade them around the country dead in the shot up car to show people we got them up out of here. <laughs> Hey, don't be robbing no banks no more. It was crazy to me, man. I was like, I was like, yo, that's wild. Now they got one. Of, they, they say one of the winners of the summer. I I almost feel like this is a cheat code, but it's low budget thrillers. They seem to there's um the one long legs they're talking about that did really, really well. It's another one called Maxine that earned Maxine. twenty million, but the budget was one million to make. But Thanks. the thing with with thrillers is thing why they tend to like making them is you don't have to put a lot of money it's in cheap them. it's cheap to make and there's there's a there's a there's a nice size of people who love thrillers yeah. they'll just watch they'll watch thriller it has the genre in its of itself has its fan base 
Yeah. And because I've I've never heard of any of these films, but it's like this um what is Rennie Harlan's The Strangers, forty seven million, and his budget was eight point seven million. And these budgets are like before marketing. So I don't even know what marketing they did. Mm. And he's just with thrillers, I mean you ain't got you ain't gotta spend much. No, you really tripled. don't ripple. Because it's it's a thriller, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I would know. Thriller, of course. Thr- thriller tonight. <laughs> Done. You, you you seen the memes where uh old girl from uh Australia the break dancer, they got her in thriller? No, that's not, no, oh my goodness. That's a whole yeah, that's different what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's a whole different other subject. Man, I mean, understand why. We could we could talk why, about that. Yeah, why? But, oh. You said you said thriller and I went to the meme. No. So okay. that's where I made a connection. She every time I see her, she make my head hurt. Even but, a picture of her. But uh um, she, she don't even have to be breakdancing. I could just look at a picture of her and she just make my hair hurt. She was on the committee, her and her husband. That that actually kicked off other people. So she could make it to uh, Paris. She got zero across the board. And I'm like, how does that even happen? How does that even happen? So I, I'll kind of talk about that a little bit at the end. But um, another winner, which I think this is more of a summer thing as well, animated movies did well. Because they're animated movies. I mean, don't they, tend to, don't they tend to do well? Yeah. They do, especially in the summer, though. Because the kids are out, and that's when more likely kids are going to be watching movies. It's just obviously kind We're of doing the sense. holiday times you know yes when yes. the kids are out you know what i'm saying yeah, obviously yes so and it had like a final note we need more action movies for men and that was mainly because of the success of bad boys and deadpool and wolverine you got to do action movies well if they're not done well it, then that is a a hole that you might as well shovel your money into. i don't I don't even think you have to do it like really well. I just think it doesn't have to. I, I mean, mean it, has to, it has to be well enough. And I'm a guy who likes Fast and Furious. I think, yeah. and I know it's ridiculous. I know it's ridiculous. Yeah, but you know what you're signing up for every yeah. time you every time you watch a film now. It, it's different. It's like like um uh with uh was it Bruce uh I can't remember his last name, but the the Evil Dead franchise. It's gonna be over the top. It's gonna be kooky. Yeah, and. As long as it's, I, I said, there's a certain, once it, it passes a line of like, I can't watch this anymore. Or it just don't look like it's Like Sharknado, money. too. Sharknado, period, for me. It's just kind of like, you I don't know what? I'll watch Sharknado before I watch another Fast Fears. Okay. It, and that's probably that's just, a lot of people. That's just me. That's just me. Okay. That's probably a lot of people. I, me, I, I like. I like the ridiculousness of it, the I mean, action I, of it. You know what I'm getting with both, but I'm just like I rather Money's more acceptable. Right. I'd rather see some people get fake eaten in front of a green screen than trying to watch another Fast and Furious. I'm just saying. That's just me. So okay. So um Hey, hey give me another John Wick while you're at it. Come on. Yeah, oh come on. Oh yeah, I wouldn't like prequels now, all I'm, that. Give, give it to me. Give me an animated with the 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 father and the daughter, the the Japanese I, father and daughter. Give me an animated version of that. I'm kind of late for the to the John Wick franchise. I literally just started watching it like earlier this year. Because to me, it was like I didn't know, I didn't get like even the marketing of it. Seeing um, what's his name? That who plays John Wick, Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. I, for some reason, I just couldn't see him as like an action hero. I mean, you saw him as Neo. I, I didn't really like him that much in that. Not, not that it, like the story itself was great. I just never liked him in that. But he does really well on here. I admit, I was wrong. I was wrong on that. What? But, yeah, I did not like him as Neo. What? No, no. Say, say the other part again. What? Yeah, I was wrong. What? He's John no. Wick is great. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You said you were wrong? Yeah. No, no, with John Wick, oh, I was dead ass. Oh, my goodness. I was goodness. definitely I wrong. That. But because I, I started watching the last one, and it just so happened to, it was on something. So you started from the last to the first? Yeah. Okay. And I was like, this is, this is actually way better than I thought. But I messed, I messed up watching the last because I like the sequence. Yeah, I watched it. Wait, now, it. The last one makes it be like, oh, let me watch these other ones because it didn't make sense to me. Wait, but... so, so you watch four, three, two, no, oh, one? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I worried that wrong. I started off with the last one, but then I went okay. because, again, the story right. didn't, right. I didn't understand the story. <laughs> I just liked it. So I like. So I'm I like, I don't know what kind of backwards stuff you're doing, <laughs> but that's not how you watch anything, sir. 
<laughs> no, no. I start the first one. I start. I saw was four. Then I went to, to the one. First, yeah, one okay. to three. Okay. All right. But yes, I would love to see another. Hey, he, he he watched it like he he was on a one of the free preview weekends for HBO <laughs> or something. It was kind of well, it wasn't a free. It was Tubi, but oh, man, oh man, man. No, but uh, you kind of. Now, if you were wondering, yeah, it's just somebody just randomly saw on Tubi, you know, like, and it just so happened to have all of them on. I didn't see the fourth one on TV, Tubi. I saw the other ones on there. Well, you started with three then. No, no, no. I started with four. But you said it was on Tubi. The no, other the ones were on Tubi. The rest of them. Oh, okay. Tubi. All right. All right. And so that's how. So, I like, it. so where'd you watch the fourth one at? No, I saw that at theaters. You went to the theater to see the fourth movie and Someone, then see? Yes. Uh, it, it wasn't planned. <laughs> I was with somebody who wanted to see that. And I was like, fine. That's kind of the guy. Oh, man. It wasn't. Man. I didn't go there specifically to watch that's another Keanu story. Reeves fight people. That's another story that for another day. No, nah, I think I think even on that day, I don't want to hear that story. <laughs> but, you know, hey, but, but go ahead. But, that's another story for another day. Since y'all yeah, brought up the Olympics slightly, how much of it did you watch? I watched the. I watched quite a bit. Like I watched the track and field and what else I watched? I watched quite a bit, but I did not know the break dancing was part of it until I seen it on the internet. <laughs> so you didn't hear nothing. You didn't hear any like promotion of breaks. And, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't hear none of that. So I heard about it two years. I don't know. They officially announced about, I heard about it two years ago. I forgot about it. But then once it got closer and closer, they kind of started talking about it a little bit more. It was kind of one of their promotional points. Obviously, Team USA, Simone Biles, track and field is always going to be a draw. And then it brought breakdancing. I, I never, it, it felt like something that should have happened maybe 20 years ago if they were going to do it. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think, I think old girl put such a bad taste in everybody's mouth that they were like, no, nah, we're not doing this again. So no, nah, we're I, not. We're not doing this. Again. I don't think that's the reason why. I mean, it's a nice excuse or whatever, but I don't think that's the reason why. But uh, I mean, I, I think the the old guard or whatever were trying to do something special or whatever, and and then they, they didn't actually understand what it was to begin with, and that that couldn't have helped. Not one iota. No, no, I don't think it helped. But also, like longevity, you would have of it. Again, I thought they did it. They should have done this years before, and. They say either be great or be interesting. It and was neither. It was uh old girl was interesting. No, nah, it else. was neither. It, it was, was neither. No, but, but there there were some talented people, whatever that like the, but she, the, the little she, Asian chick that uh she that she was going, the like, great there were some there were some great break dancers. Yeah. I had to look for them. Cause I was like, oh, cause I cause she was like I ain't gonna say promoted. She just kind of blew up to the point where I was like no, no, I mean, it, it felt it, it, like it, she won. But it it was so bad. Do you like, how did she even get there? And then come to find out, it was a bunch of corruption. So, like, they didn't know, like, they, there was no governing board or whatever. So her and her husband were, like, the governing board. And then they kicked out, like, really good break dancers or whatever, or way better than her. So she's like, oh, I select myself. And then, like, once all that stuff starts coming out, it's like an avalanche, and it makes it even worse. So now nobody feels sympathy for you for getting made fun of at all. In fact, they like doubling down. They got Not a picture. Either. They just got they rid got of the picture. whole thing. They got a meme of her like curb stomping a dude in American History X. I've seen so many memes. It's crazy. And they, they got her in Thriller. They, they got her all over the place. Right. Actually, uh, I, I, took, uh, I took her picture. I think I took her picture. No, actually, no. Nah. Like, uh, I got a fantasy league that I just got invited to. And I was like, I was like, man, I got, I got to have a funny picture. And it was even between her, the crying Jordan face. And I just, the crying Jordan face, like, it's just. It's iconic. Yeah. It's I, I was thing. like, I was like, yeah. And it's like, I think my team names, I made, you, you made me do this to you. And I was like, it's, it's got to yeah. be ironic. You know what's crazy is that performance that she did. I've seen videos of her before that. She was slightly a little bit better than what she did at the Olympics. She may have been nervous. Who knows? No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> she's like a fish out of water, man. When she's like flopping around, she's like, mm, yo, mm, she, mm. she literally looked like a fish out of water. And they got the they got the 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 video of her doing her routine to Peter Griffin, to uh doing the um Beverly Hills Cop theme song, man, uh, killing, mm, killing. I think that um, 
because they're going to have flag football in 2028. So I guess that's replacing. Now, 2028 will be in L.A. They, they talking about taking, like, boxing out. They were talking about taking no, wrestling out. I think boxing is out. I know like, but they've been talking about this like for years now. They were talking about boxing and wrestling. Um, like wrestling is the original Olympic sport. One of the originals. Wrestling, I haven't heard much on boxing. I think it was more of a board issue. Well, but, I mean, it, it's, it's historically corrupt. Uh, and then like boxing. Yeah, and, and, also. I'm, Cause like the international bodies and it, there's a lot of politics to it. So, yeah. And, that, it's subject, and, it, and it's a subjective sport. A lot of the times, unless you just go in there and lay the dude out. It's, yeah. But like I think for it wasn't there this year because they it didn't get a board together in time. It was some it was some political stuff for boxing. Wrestling I haven't heard much of. I don't think I heard. I just know twenty twenty eight is going to be in L A. Well, I mean, like the, it it like the subjectiveness of boxing is so much. If if the athletes are that close to each other, to where it's like it's almost impossible to score it objectively without having some kind of bias. Even like they had to get rid of the point system because people like their reflexes weren't fast enough or, you know, what they were looking at and all that stuff. Cause it used to be like uh, three of the four or five judges had to like hit the button within three seconds of each other for a point to land. And so they, like, so you're saying like, you're, let's say like a punch connects, they got to yeah. click something. And, and then as so many of the judges, like a certain amount of the judges would have to like get the, the points. And then some of the judges say, if you're like behind the guy and you can't see the punch land, you just like, eh, I think it hit. It's like a, like a like hearing, something. it's like a hearing test. You know, like <laughs> you got to hit the button. It's like, oh, did I hear something? It's so quiet. I'm, I'm psyching myself out. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Uh, I feel like there's something that it would be like something that would be recti- rectified through AI by the time. Dude, what's up with you and AI, man? Now, it's just, like, you know, AI. Come on, man. Like, I know you like Allen Iverson, man. Not, well, I do. But so, they're like the first professional player shoe that I had. <laughs> but, like, so, like, so much of the film industry, I, I've been kind of researching it. So much of the film industry or televised industry is going to be affected by AI. But so I don't every, think it's going to, I don't think it's going to last, to be honest with you. If they can do, if I can have a machine replace five or six workers, they're going to get that machine. Like they are, they're projecting worldwide by the end of this decade, it's going to replace. But 80%. as far as film, film, I don't, I don't think but, that's going to. So here's, here's why I think for that. One, cause, um, God, I don't remember the name of this thing they've got, yeah, but you've seen like, like an AI photo, you can type, describe the photo you make, you right. know, make it for it. So, they're now doing that with film and I wish I could remember the name of it, but you can describe a scene, describe the characters, put the dialogue, put how you want the characters to look like. And it'll do that with some amount of certainty. And it, that's understandable, but I mean, now. something. I just don't think it's going to last. It, it, it's going, it's, it's, it looks good. I mean, like some of it does look actually pretty good. Uh, like just the visual of it. When like you ain't gonna get no Forrest Gump out of AI, you don't get a Forrest Gump out of AI. You're not just gonna be like, oh, guy in Mississippi runs fast, has braces, run Forrest, run. You're not gonna get that out of AI. Can argue we're not getting Forrest Gump now. That's the problem. That's the problem. And it's like the the good stuff is always gonna like go to the top. And with tools and the democratization of technology, or whatever, it's only gonna get like worse for the the mid level and even the bottom the bottom films, you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah. because the tools have gotten so advanced, people think they can replace the story with the technology and you can't do that. It's all about the story. It's all about to be the story. honest with you. Story over everything. I can, I can see them tr- definitely trying to replace that story with technology. Because a visual is just a visual. I mean, yeah, you visual. Hell, use that for music videos. A visual, nothing. Oh, they're, oh, they're already doing it. For music nothing, videos. nothing has meaning until you assign that meaning to it. Thus, telling the story that gives it any kind of like credence to begin with. Now, what I kind of think would happen with that. Now, I think like with this technology, or whatever, it'll be so wide braced that it will either one a indie filmmaker can make something that looks, it won't be as good as a major film, but they'll have obviously more expensive software 
but it'll look a little bit more on par, or it could potentially do can create an avenue for indie films, whereas they're the only ones making their films with 90% or full. I, they can market their film going, this is a non-AI film. This is all human-based. And then an audience grow from that to where they're like, I just want to see a film with people in it and no AI. That's kind of what, like I see like around the end of the decade of how this I, I, I don't this think movie. that's going to matter. Like, because if the story's good, the story's good. And I, I don't think you're going to be able to get somebody in because, oh, we got humans. I'm like, okay. Because I'm like, the, the animated films, if that's the case or whatever, you would look at those differently. But like, but the animated films, the, the reason why a lot more of those are on point is because you can't fudge it. You have to know exactly how everything's going to do, going to be. And like they can they can probably do a little bit of like, you know, ad libbing here and there, but that's not really encouraged because of lip sync. They gotta get the lip sync right. The computer animation is a little bit easier, but like the the ones that go to the drawing and all that, you can't do that. Why do why do you think like the original Star Wars, they had every frame of the film storyboarded because of special effects so heavy. And then he he come in like George Lucas come in the room, like rip some stuff down and walk out the room. Probably piss a lot of now, people off. Yeah. Now, something like Star Wars, I wouldn't even make sense to use like the ad lib that at all, because of like this kind of story. Now, if it's something that's comedic, and you have got someone that's really good at ad libbing, someone like a, I don't know if a Jim Carrey would work for. Yeah, but anime, I mean, because like, he's an anime. Like, I mean, you but, tend to want to see him. Well, you, you, well, you talk about this, right? Like Robert Downey Jr. Like some of his best like deal in the Marvel um, universe or whatever were ad libs. Like he ad libs some certain like small parts, not the whole. It swap. Is, it's, it's still like within their story. To yes. Where yes. Whoever he's doing the scene with, understand what's going on. Doesn't throw anybody off. Apparently, he threw off Tom Holland when he was in that Spider Man movie, the the um, what, Homecoming, I think. Yeah, yeah. Or actually, I think it was Civil War. Yeah, I think it was Civil War, actually. Okay. Well, I have nothing else for this. So I'm going to wrap this. I, no, no, no. I, no, there was one more thing I was going to ask you all. So I don't know if you heard about him. No, Denzel. Actually, I think he has two projects this year. Gladiators. Gladiator and... Gladiator 2. Yeah. It's, Gladiators. Another one. it's another story. Gladiator 2. Gladiators. Y'all can debate Gladiator this. 2. Gladiators. Ain't no gladiators. Y'all can debate that on It's Gladiator 2. It's a sequel. I say gladiator. Y'all can debate that on y'all own time. I, debate. I won. But yeah, so he had yeah, he had after these two films, he's he said in a recent interview that there are very few films left for me to make that I'm interested in. That's understandable. He needs to start writing his own stuff. Well, I mean he's I don't know if he's writing, but he's definitely directing. I mean he, he wrote in um well he I guess he he did the adaptation of the screenplay for Fences. Yeah, he directed that. Um, and, I don't think he wrote. I, I, think, I, I think he helped with with the the writing to the big screen because you had to adapt the stage play to the. Because usually you, I'm gonna look that up to make sure. But I, I you you assign a writer who does that to adapt it to a um, screenplay. But let me look the but. And I was, I was like, I was, I saw that. I was like, man, I mean, I kind of thought we, we'd have been at that point years ago, but I mean, he don't have to write nothing, but I mean, now as far as like being on, on, um, on camera. Well, that's understandable. I get that. Like, for me, it's all about the story. I'm just not going to sit up there and direct some junk. I wish he had more time. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, no, he didn't. He did. He wasn't in the writing of it, but uh, definitely the yeah, he was the director. You know, one of my favorite movies of his is uh, "Devil in a Blue Dress." That was a book. It's a good. That film. was made into that was a good, film. It's a good film. I loved him. I read the book. I read the book, and then I looked at the film, and I'm like, okay, okay. Actually, no, like, cause I never saw the book. I'm funny you brought that up because I was, I did not like it when it first came out. It the was movie. Wondered, the movie, no. is one of the things that I ended up liking as I got older. He's more a Jason Lyrics guy. 
Oh. So, but I was like, when I think like Denzel films, um, obviously Malcolm X, um, training, training. He got him. It, I mean, I, it, it's one of those movies that I could watch over again. It's not necessarily my go to Denzel movie. John I, was, Q. I watched yeah, that. Yeah, that was last yeah. week. And that was a little that was a little emotional for me. I couldn't go back to that one. Um Training Day I can watch Lord knows how many times. That may be my favorite Denzel film. That's horrible. It's, it's, it, 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 it it is. It's just it's just fun to watch him be villainous. I mean, like my entire life he's like the ultimate good guy in films. What what's the what's the American Gangster one good though? Well, he was well, a I mean, good guy. And oh he was good in American he, Gangster. He, he, he liked him because he was handing out turkeys. That's what it was. He's handing out turkeys to people he's selling drugs to. So, yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. I mean, it, I mean, like, I, I like the American Gangster. It's, I don't know. It's something about, it, something about training day. It's just kind of his performance in there. It just always captured my attention in that one. What's, what's the one movie where um, that, that he was trying to trick that demon at that cabin? Uh, was it Fallen? Where the demon would like jump from body to body or from animal and stuff. I know you're talking about. I, I think it's the name I of it. It's fallen. Because I've seen that movie. That, that's good. That's really good. And at the end, uh, he's like, he almost got him too. And the demon's like, oh, that was good. He's like, you almost got me. He's like, I was scared. And I was like, oh, man. The, the demon went to the cat at the end. Like, because Denzel tricked him and got him in a secluded part. And he's going to kill him or whatever. And then, like, he's like, oh, man, that was close. I was like, side note, did you hear they're making a Drag Me to Hell too? You ever seen that movie? Uh, is that Drag one, Me to Hell? Is that the one with a, a, the girl or whatever and like the old lady was like like clawing at her and stuff like that? So at the end, like she literally goes to hell? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. I forgot the dude's name. Yeah, I've seen The that. dude that was, um, I forgot his name. But, if, you know, so, you can recognize his face, but yeah. He's one of those actors, yeah, I get you. Now, when we get to the point where y'all talking about thrillers, that means it's time to go. <laughs> so we're going to wrap this up. Thank you all for listening. I am here. Did you know the new Beetlejuice is coming out? Nah, I don't count that as a thriller. That's just funny. But wait, did he not already? No, it comes huh? out. It comes out September. Yeah, they're doing the advertisements for it right That's now. why I'm seeing. Okay. They're doing trailers and stuff like that. They're, they're just at the market. And, and they, got, they got Michael Keaton back in it. Michael Keaton. And, and, and old girl. Yeah. yeah um, Jenner, Jenny Ortega. Who? The young, are you talking about the... We're talking about the people who who were in the original. The original I don't, yeah, like... I don't, um, I don't remember the woman's name. I just know she went in the from uh, Edward Scissorhands. Like, uh, was it his ex-wife? What's her name? She, she was in Fight Club. She was in... She's, she's in Fight Club. Club. She's in um Stranger Things. What is her name? She's in Fight Club. If it's what Stranger I, Things. I don't think she's in Fight Club. I don't. The the wife? There was an air Edward Scissorhands. The black hair chick. I know you're talking about. What's, my mind went black. Yeah, What's she's her name? the love interest in Fight Club. Almost every movie that he directed for a while had her in it. Because um, uh, Winona Ryder. Winona, yes, she was in Fight Club. No, not Winona, Winona Ryder. Ryder was not Winona Ryder. I was thinking it was the same chick. You're thinking of no, another. You're thinking no. of another no. woman. I think I know. I don't know her name. She had like wild hair. And then the 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 person who played her mom is coming back. Still her mom, and I'm talking about in Beetlejuice. Yeah. What was it? Uh, she was in Home Alone. She played the mom in Home Alone. She played the mom in Home Alone. I know you're talking about. I don't. I know what? she's one of the person whose faces I remember more than her name. <laughs> like, like misplaced your child like every other year. The the youngest too. You misplaced the baby. Oh my goodness! You don't care about that boy? Hey, CPA. And the fact that like how many how many of them feels she made like man, yeah, this is like a Home Alone four. At this point, y'all should be in jail. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't lose him. Yeah, you forgot him. Yeah. And it got it got progressively worse. Like it's one thing to lose him at home. Okay, it's horrible, but I mean, how you lose your child in New York? When like, when when you're wealthy and you have that many kids, apparently it doesn't matter. Because how you taking fourteen to sixteen people on vacation every year? Yeah. <laughs> As I grow up, you start. Hey, saying, okay, hey, what did they do for them? The, yeah. Hey, the dad might have had you know some hey, things hey, going on. He was moving weight. 
For real. Uh, hey, he's working with uh Esco. Well, he might have made Escobar. his pay their way. You never know. Hey, y'all got it. Y'all got to pay some money. No, no, no. Unless his kids are like in the IT field, like no, no, ain't happening. Everybody pitch in two hundred dollars. Let's go. Two hundred. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> not not them vacations. And then like okay. And then Kevin, when he went to New York or whatever, and was spending all that money, that was like an Amex card, wasn't it? Had it been like a black card because how you gonna spend that much money and not have a flag on your account? Because he he was buying Christmas trees and all kinds of stupid stuff. I'm like, it has to be an unlimited account because like, hey, you get flagged. You know, if you if you buy twenty dollars worth of Amazon stuff and it's it, you know that's not normal, unless you're that chick from Illinois. Then you're doing it from a um, a whole nother state, or is another city? I forgot where it was based out of. No, yeah, I think because I think they were they from Minnesota or something like that. Yeah, so you you know you spend in another state. You're like usually your credit card would go. Let's just freeze this card for a second. <laughs> I guess they didn't do that back then. But either ah, the woman you're talking about, Helena. Yeah. That's who you're talking because I I know her face. I was just like I never could think of her name, so I had to look her look her up. But um, on that note, I think we're done. Before y'all start talking about scarier stuff, I am once again Kevin. What's scary. Uh, no, I'll figure, you, it, I'll figure it out on the next episode. No, don't worry about it. Oh my goodness. goodness! You just had to go there. I am once <laughs> Kevin Murphy with my colleagues Victoria V A Jones. And next next episode, we're talking about some thriller stuff. And Carson Hyde Ferguson. Oh, nothing. Not you ain't got nothing. No. So.